Welcome back to episode two. Sima Wei has declared war on Sima Ji. The Sima clan is having some issues today. And now Sima Lun is declaring war on the Jin Empire. Again, I do have my primer video if you're curious about this time period and what is going on here. Because I do know it's a lot. Okay, in your family, you are succeeding Sima Ju, but you're not a Sima. Get out of here. And now Suyan is declaring war on me. Not a bad idea. I've got the better hat, clearly. So we'll have to go after him very soon. He's right over there. I'll be heading up here to go fight. Potentially go into Hanzhong. Might need to even get another leader up if I want to defend my lands. I don't know if I can properly defend my lands where I'm at right now. I would need a large garrison. My garrison right now is way too small to be able to hold up against what they have coming towards me. So it really depends on what we're going to be able to pull off. And let's have a look. Lu Yun, what's up? He leveled up? Okay. Rank 3. Let me have a look at what I want to give him. Redeployment costs would go down. That's always a good one. Building upkeep goes down when administering a commandery. I mean, these are all things I wanted to have generally. So I'm going to give him clarity. Cheaper buildings for me. That is a good thing. We've gained a clay ox. We're still kind of heading up. I don't really have a lot of punishment to engage in so i'm just gonna run up i'm just gonna run up over here all right see my way is really close to me he's very close to other enemies too he's fighting three other factions but he can still fight me he's got two vassals right now which means i probably want to find some manner some method i don't really need that outfit do i i've got plenty of them i'm gonna give you something i mean i don't really want to but i guess like i should because at that point, we could say, hey, look. Here you go. Oh, they actually have stuff to trade. That doesn't always happen. If I do that, they'll like me more. He's not a very large fan of me. Not at all. Make it work. If I do that, I'll have to pay him. But we'll get a non-aggression pact, which for now, I do need. Financially, yes, not my be best accepted. choice. But again, if we can avoid having an issue with them... That's a good thing. I'll gain money through other means for these 10 turns. It just means survival for a period of time. But I just want to avoid him and his issues. So that's what we're going to do for right now. Now we're going into a new turn. I'm at Bashi. I'm going to Hanjong. All right. We have a trespasser. Huang Xin. And over here, friends stick together. So Xu Cho and Sima Ying are now closer together. Let's bring out one of the princes over here to the west. It's time for me to go to Hanjong. Oops, I zoomed in a little bit too much, but here we are. We have a very small garrison. I'm way too strong to fight that out. That's a very tiny garrison. If there's any changes that I would make, it would be potentially to have much higher tier towns where like maybe the battles would be more extreme early on because of that, but we are in a different time period. Okay, so Luji over here. He's a skilled mediator. Are you though? Are you a skilled media? Anyway, let's have a look at what we want to give him. If I give him precision, his range units will deal more damage. He'll have more armor piercing damage for the army here. Well, own army, I suppose that might imply. You know, he's not owning it directly, but he's in it. All right, so we don't need to give you any of that. Your satisfaction is going up. The satisfaction for a lot of my characters is going up. I actually like the overall design of Sima Ying. I enjoy his hat. It's a good hat what i'm concerned with whenever i choose a character do they have a good hat if not be gone all right let's have a look over here occupation we've gained a noble sword pretty good for a commander type lu ji went up to rank three which we saw shi cho and sima ying are now closer oath sworn even so now i own even more land than before if i upgrade what's over here that would be 100 more income that's a lot of income but I don't really have that much money, do I? Not really, no. I could upgrade cheaper buildings. If I have cheaper buildings to upgrade, we can go to, let's see, Chengdu. Chengdu is over here. Nope, all 2,600. That would just give me 100 more, which does add up. Let me look at my income real quick. So we're at 300 industry. In Bashi, we're at, let's see, 200 for industry, 361 for peasantry. So we'll want to choose something that, let's see. We're going to need something really good. Construction, building upkeep goes down. I'm going to let you handle building upkeep for right now. I'm going to come over here and have a look at my diplomatic situation. 
The Jin Empire is much stronger. See my way. His power is equivalent to mine. We certainly cannot make that work. As much as I want to. Wang Shin. He's down Welcome. here. Take a seat. Again, we certainly cannot make any of these factors work right now. I know that he wants a peace treaty. I could leave him alone so that we can go up to Suyuan. But he's got land that I want. I am in a very comfy position to propagate my power. But it will take time. Time that I don't really have right now. I've got to see if I even have that time to begin with. All right, I'm going to keep my money where it's at. Or again, I just upgrade now. If I do that, let's see. I have a toolmaker right over here, kind of bordering my lands. I would rather upgrade land over in Chengdu where I have a friendly neighbor. We'll work on my salt ponds real quick. I bet that enemy's going to pop out to my livestock farm or my large town eventually, but let's do what we can. It's currently winter. Okay, so you're joining a war, Kong. Sima Wei has formed a coalition with Xiao Gong. And Sima Chang has joined a coalition. Man, I want to join your coalition. I want friends. We should be working together, at least for a brief period of time. Let's come over here now. I can't really afford much more. I've got a decently sized army. We've got more Simas here. Lots of them. Rank 3, too. Rank 4 for her. My god. Let's go have a look. I can marry him off in time. It would be very ideal. Yeah, there's Sima Yan. Old age, huh? I don't know. He's not very old at that point. Garrison in general. See my way. Right. If only we could get you back. If we could get him back. I mean, we should actually have a better relationship diplomatically, I think, than what we have right now. 35 years old. I'm only 21. Come on. Come on, brah. Is what we would say to him. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm actually going to do that because I don't really need that armor. So to give me a trade agreement, our relationship will better, and I'll get more money. See my way, I've got to diplomatically engage with. He's very strong, and I've got to be friendly for now. Who knows what might happen in the future? We're all over China. See my way, signed a peace treaty with Sima Leon. See my Mo joined the war alongside Sima Wei. And Xiao Gong requested Sima Chang to join their war. Sima Tai formed a coalition with Oh, Xu Yan. I'm fighting Xu Yan. Okay, the Empress demands retribution. One of your more error-prone... I don't know why I went Richard Nixon from Futurama there. Anyway, I'm not going to use my uh, jowls to howl. All right, one of your more error-prone retainers has unintentionally offended the Empress. She now demands a formal groveling apology, yet your comrade insists they did nothing to warrant such a thing. Okay, let's have a look here. I lose money. Out of favor. Jin Empire. I'm going to compensate her. I shall be kind. Here's money. Enjoy yourself. Now, let's go to Wudu. Wudu belongs to me now. Again, tiny garrisons. Why waste their time fighting such tiny garrisons? We don't need to do that. It's not needed. So we're going to occupy it now. I now own Wudu. There's even more land for me to take from these many enemies who surround me i needed to try to come down here to the copper mine the copper mine can make me a lot of money i'll have to find a way to take that and push them back hopefully they'll move back but it will still take me like two or three turns to even get there and back we captured the enemy capital Shugan, do you even have like well no no you have land Shugan, but ah he's over here i see and there's like a very difficult pathway to get through i'm conquering a lot but i have so much more to conquer these are much weaker enemies i wanted to go elsewhere Who's over here? Oh, right. It's abandoned. So my one boundary is over here. Sima Wei has a lot of power. I know Xiao Gong wants peace. Let me see real quick. You're fighting Sima Ji. We have much to discuss. I wonder what I could get from you. It might not be much, but... We now have a peace treaty, so I don't have to worry about them fighting me anymore. 
And you know who. He's stronger than I am. I'm giving him money, which certainly does help him out. So let's have a look at see my way. This will be short. If we go look at our general relationship, it could be better. I'm fighting one of his friends. I can't really give him much else. Wow, that's rude. You never let me join. All right, we're going to see what we can do with that later. Coalition to defeat barbarians. I wish that you could have like a more targeted goal for your coalition. I think that's where I would want it to be personally, but in time we shall see. Not my fault you have crappy friends who try to kill me. I just need them to stay away for now so I can actually do my business. Okay. You're joining a war. Everyone's joining a war today. I'm going to chunk, send a to Sima Liang. We have a new workforce that's going to help out financially. Garrison games increased. Okay, replenishment sounds great, actually. Noble support is one thing, but I really want to persuade them. Following the town's capture, you were asked what should be done with the imprisoned men of the... Okay, so we're going to persuade them. Now we get a better amount of replenishment. We get a stone pig. We've got over here two characters in my court. I can't afford anyone, so it doesn't even matter if they're good or not. I don't have time for that right now. Strike Looks like they're all up here. And I've got to go fight them. So we're looking at two armies. I could just fight a night battle and fight one. Or I could fight two of them. I'm going to fight one. And it's time for me to go fight a battle because we haven't fought one yet. But we're going to destroy her. Faction air. Okay, so we're going to kill off the faction air. It's about time to have a good victory today. We haven't had one for a bit. And so we're going to go drive and get one. I'm enjoying the many princes here. What I would like to see in the future is like chapter packs that might pertain to the 100 like year time period of the Three Kingdoms era. It would be interesting to have it like segue into these events instead, potentially. But I guess like there's too many variables involved to have that be a done deal. Okay. Let's see how we're going to do this. I actually don't mind my formation where it's at. I'm going to keep it. I don't want any of my ranged units to skirmish. They don't need to do that. They can stay in guard mode. My leadership is fine. Let's begin to battle. We're going to move up a little bit. I don't need to move up that much. Actually, not really much at all. So here is my forces. And again, we can go look at Sima Ying. The ineffable. The filial man, pious, loyal, handsome, as he is called. Yeah, the former emperor, he was known for his uh, predilection for the ladies. Having a copious amount of children. Absolutely copious amount. Let's go shoot this archer militia. I think I'm going to change things up a little bit. Get these hunters out. I've got some more over here. Actually, you two can move over here. We just kind of move them into position before we do anything crazy. We've already shot the hell out of some of their archer militia. I've got probably a few more archers, crossbows, than they do. So I'm going to go shoot them before they even make it to me. Go fight some of their mounted units. There we go. Chong Hunters, you can come over here too. Come over here. Help out. I'm going to let you two kind of move back slightly. For a moment, I thought I was in slow motion. My god. They have mounted crossbows. That's cute. Let's go after their G militia. So we've already killed another group off. We've got some horsemen who are going to come over here just kind of chill out. Lost like a couple. Not really enough to bother me. So even my range units alone are sufficient in their numbers to be able to wipe out everyone. They're all dead. It's over. I've already wiped out most of their units. We're in the early game. It's all about that late game dispute. So what I'm doing right now is just really not a big deal. It's just kind of laughable that they would try to come at me. But let's go after their faction air. I'm going to go chase after her units now. To defeat me. Yeah, you kind of do. Do not waste your breath. You will need it. For what? Oh God, is she coming on to us? A All right. Is being That's ready. too much for me. You've done your job. Good job. I've got a lot of, you know, range units, but it's time for that to be over with now. Oh yeah, you too. You too. You've killed 115. Good work. Let's go kill her now. 
He's not looking that great. I don't feel so good, Mr. Sima Wei. The enemy general falls. Ha! And she falls. My God, the victory is ours. I've pushed my enemies out. I've been very aggressive in dividing up their lands quickly and early on instead of like really turtling behind. I mean, think about how many towns I've taken since we've begun our campaign. I've been prolific in my expansion while trying to countermine the demands of Sima Wei, who is certainly there, who is certainly wanting more from me. Oh my God. That lady uh, is gone. I don't think she made it. We're going to go take our replenishment as we do. I lost only 31, but I'm going to, you know, get back that freaking 31. That's why I usually like to fight both of them, but I did not. At least he's trapped over there. I really want to go back to Voodoo, but let's see. What do we have over here? If I upgrade you, you still won't be much more of a garrison, which is unfortunate. Let me get a look over here. Mind alignment. My research goes up. I'm going to go pick. Let's see. Another trade agreement would be fantastic for me. I'm trying to work on my money. Oh, did I kill your family? Oh, oh baby. Oh, baby. I murdered his... I did a murder. She challenged me. And so she I got what I give. A beheading. What now? Oh, my God. I don't have the money for that, dude. Crazy that the Jin Empire wants to give me that, though. Jin Kwa is over there. Trying to invite me to stuff. You're, oh my god, Sima Wei's just fighting everyone. He's like, everyone dies today. Okay. <laughs> they lacked a coherent the beheading is getting me. No, well, it's it's getting them, but... Faction Regency. Look at that. Entire faction. They're too young, so now they have a regent. Like the wind. Sima Ying is pretty baller, man. He's, um... He's killing a few people. All right, I'm gonna come back down. That won't allow me to move, okay. Killed in battle, no kidding. Character developments, we have another person on my board. I'm now making more money than I was before. Hell yeah. I do have that mission. I kinda wanna save a little bit of my money for that mission, because I just want to complete it, right? Okay, let's see here. My, I'm not a grand prince. She wants me to have 4,500. I will have that in one turn. Let's go look at that in just a minute. Let me go look over a quick deal. Two factions want a peace treaty with me. Jin Empire is very powerful. That's kind of terrifying, actually. Function. You not there yet, buddy? Oh, he actually took over that land that I wanted. Crap. Diplomacy cuts deeper than any blade. I really need to find a wife. Let us discuss matters. Okay. Let me have a look over here. Trade territory. That's not going to work out. Are we getting worse? Oh, it's actually pretty neutral. It's actually looking all right, ish. He's fighting so many other factions that I did deny the uh, wanton advance. I mean, that would have put an enemy right behind Sima Wei, but I'm trying to avoid that right now. You are a stumbling block. Wang Shin is now part. Oh, really? Tolerance okay. Is the best we can offer. I could leave him alone for now. I'm going to do that because I have another war and I want to finish up what I'm dealing with down here. I can go take Wudu and then... Well, there's a lot more to Wudu, I guess, but I might have to just take some of it. Okay, so you're not fighting Sima Jiong. Wang Xin has decided to fight me. I can't believe he decided to fight me. Just out of the blue, he like took that land and said, hey, I'm going to be a jerk. Okay, some time ago, you gave the Empress your word that you would sequester funds for the war effort. She comes to you now demanding that the money be delivered in full. Let me see. In favor. More income from all sources. I'm going to give her 2,000. Yeah. I'm in favor now. That's fine. I gain more prestige. I gain more diplomatic relations with them so that, hey, they want to try to come at me. Get a new trade, a positive trade at that. So let me try to come down here. Yeah, making it to Wudu is always an effort, for sure. I'm going to try to get here a little bit faster. There we go. At least now, we're a little bit closer to it. Alright, so my biggest issue is having function right down here. He owns a lot of land that I otherwise do not own. I'm going to have to raise a temp army, I think. Really depends. 
on who I want. Looks like you're an outsider, a legendary character, a legendary commander. Got a lot of family members. Sima Lyon. Luigi is over here. I already have him, so we're just gonna we're just gonna we can take him. Yeah, there's a canal that was built over here. Okay, let's see. I'm going to recruit. He's got a lot of options, actually. Not to cross them in. I just do not find them to be sufficient for whatever you might want to use them for. They're just mm, not that great. All right. We're going to keep you there for now, as much as I want my money. I've got to go conquer that, get a peace treaty potential lead, and then come down and go fight this guy. Then I would have settled my wars in the north. I would have one choke point. Well, more than one choke point, really, but... That's why we're trying to get some defenses down here. Thankfully, it's winter. A Jade Bird. So, Tsuma Chao and Tsuma Ying are now closer. Bonus experience for Tsuma Ying. Over 1,300. And now we're going to bring out Tsuma Ying over here. I can't do that, but I can almost make it in there. So one more turn. I just want that Copper Mine. That's all I want. Then I'll leave you alone for a little bit. I'd rather come up here and finish you off, but Wang Shin, again, betrayed me. He was the friendliest one with me, so that makes me a little bit reluctant to trust anyone. All right, that's four turns. But 100 more for my income. Again, we just quickly check on our peace agreements. She, of course, wants one. Xiao Gong, <laughs> the only person that I can really win up with. See my way. I don't know how he feels about me still. Let me go look over here. See my way. Uh, da, 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 da. It's okay with me. Talks. Yep, minus five. So we're looking better and better as time proceeds. Yeah, it's it's just getting closer to where we need it to be. I don't have a lot of money to give you, but I hope that continues. I'm not fighting his friend anymore. We're to, to the capital. We're actually getting closer now to where we need to be for that. But yeah, let's go take that copper mine, get a peace tree. Then we can begin to sprint down here to go. It's actually not a this bad thing, too. End. And I'll tell you why. You because now I can go take all these lands down here and not have to go up north anymore. I want to try to avoid going up north. I'll probably get rid of my army, but then call it back up north to just kind of keep guard. See my eyes not fighting. See my mole. See my ways fighting. See my eye. And the Empress demands war. Okay, let's see. The whims of the Empress are capricious and often meaningless, yet the meaningless is given meaning by the fact of her position and power. She demands you declare war in a thus neutral... I just made a, a freaking peace treaty, dude. Let me see. I don't have the money for that. I could condemn them. Yes, shame on them. And if they want to declare war on me again, you know, someone help them, right? All right, let's go over here. They weren't kidding about her being ridiculous. All right, so now we can take this area too. And hopefully all of this like helps you out when you play. It really just depends, I think, on a cornerstone relationship, which is see my way. Because you could be stuck down here for a long time, but now I have all this extra land. Do I have the money to show for it? Not really. There's third-party events that are kind of keeping me from doing certain things. But all right, let's have, have a look at what we can do with her. Let's see. Oh, they can barely feed their own people. I wonder if I can get Jin Ching. Hey, man, just give me some land. I don't think that's going to work out either. Do they have any ancillaries? They do have that tempered iron skin. I doubt they'll give that up, you know. Probably have no one that's able to use it. Okay, what about requesting regular payments? We could try that for a, a little while just for fun. I doubt they can afford... Yeah, they can't afford anything, really. Let's try maybe 100 a turn for 10 turns. Okay, that's closer. We'll go to 250. 250 is not going to work. We'll try 200. See, when I click on make it work, they usually go to another deal. Like, okay, they'll just give me a lump sum. Well, that's fine, too. Now that I have your copper mine... I'll come at you so later. A minor princess, and she's very poor. So now that that's over with, we can begin to head down here. It's going to take me forever, though. The travel time is just incredible. I'm, I'm going to march down here, though, so it'll take less time. We'll go after the Chengdu Armor Craftsman. I'm going to try to guard what, what I do have currently. 
and then we'll see what else can happen after that. So over here's more food production. We'll take that. It's very cheap. And we're gonna end our turn. I know he's gonna pop up eventually. Always the answer. Food income. It's funny. He's my money was actually a good thing. He's stronger than I am. I don't want to go up there. I really want to start like expanding down here and becoming this crazy powerhouse before I even get to any of them. I become the most powerful Sima. They just let me kind of nest down here. Okay. Uh, Jin Empire is not fighting Sima I. Faction developments, Dachin em emissaries, Dachin. Those people beyond China's borders are purveyors of wealth and knowledge if we have but the patience to listen. Silk Road, huh? It's over here. Who's that? Too much Hong. Okay. Well, let's come on down. It's one camp completed. Can't do much yet. I have a new reform to go pick. Okay, so over here would be plus five to satisfaction. I like that a lot. Economic buildings would be cheaper. Let me see what else we have here. Yeah, we'll go for that route. Okay, so I need to become a prince to get further reforms. Yeah. But I do have that nice copper mine. Super stoked about that. Jin Empire is just growing and growing in power. Wow. Not supporting any of you. See my way again. We just want to go look at where we're at. We're actually at plus seven now. We signed a lot of treaties. We're not fighting their friends anymore. They're a huge buffer between us and the Jin Empire. So if I can just keep my wars down here, I'll be beautiful. I want two armies eventually once I'm able to afford it. It'll have to be very cheap armies. I just need bodies on the field. Okay. Brothers in arms, Lu Ji and Sima Ying. They now get along more. We have a, a tycoon giving a lot more cunning. Do you want to use it? Let's see. Surplus markets and trade influence. I see, but only if they're like a... Gotcha. A lot of family members. Let me go look over here real quick. What do you have? What did I give you? So we'll give you that guy. Just for that extra cunning. I don't have a mount for you. Got your armor. Okay, we're nearly there, man. We're just, we're so close to being there. Yeah, the delineations of, of the map are a lot easier to make sense of now, which I'm super stoked about. In the very beginning, it could be a little little bit confusing. A little bit. Once we get rid of that army, too, we'll have a lot more money. So, let me go look at my court real quick. Let's see. A Jade Carver. That's pretty cool. A Legendary Sentinel. Very, oh my god. Now, you're 53, and you're 45, but... And you're only ranked 2, but my god. He's got really good armor. Words of the Master. 54 armor base. Charge, reflect for his own retinue. I'm gonna hire him just to kind of take some gear over there. Wish I could find them a family to marry into, but uh, if we're not gonna use him outright... I mean, I have my own legendary sentinel who's much younger. So what I'll do, let me go look at him. Let me go take his gear. You look less legendary now, I've got to say. Come back over to the court. We'll give it over to... I, I don't know why I went over here to do that. Now, you have good armor too. Crap. Okay. Ugh, tough one. I'm going to give you a better weapon for now. Take that. You have less armor for it. Nah, I'm going to let him keep that, but at least I was able to get some really good armor. I've given him a lot of expertise. I don't have any other things to give him for that. Let's go look at who's most talented at expertise. Sima Yue. Shi Cho is actually ranked 2. That was quick. That guy's ranked 3 in the world. Princess Pei. Where is she at? Oh, lame. You're married to him. Okay. Resolve Sima Chong. Man, Princess Pei is very powerful. Cunning. Lu Ji. Lu Ji. And Sima Ying. So, <laughs> the three most cunning people in the realm is right here. Sima Wei, yeah, that's why we're trying to avoid him. He's like our own personal Lubu of the setting, it seems like. So, we got to watch out. No one even compares to him. He's just a war machine. My God. And then Sima Ju is over here. We've got He Lu and Sima Ying. Where's the other major princess? Like, is it because I, I don't know of them yet? Is this... Am I, okay, this might be like of only... Factions I know of? Huh. Anyway. It's fine. Just trying to figure things out. Just want to 
get things all together. All right. Time for me to end that turn. There's a lot of armor and weapon craftsmen down here. If you can like fully develop those, you can get some really good stuff. Okay, so you're fighting the Jin Empire, friend in need. These two are getting along very well. Everyone gets wounded on me out of nowhere. It's ridiculous. Those events trigger way too much. <laughs> We're just traveling. I hit my foot on a rock. Oh, okay. So I can begin to replenish as I move down here. I could actually, what I could do is get Lu Yun out here. We're going to get Lu Yun to come help me replenish. We don't need to really muster too fast. I just need him to help me replenish. I go over to my court real quick. Again, looks to be one of the more powerful guys out here that we know of. Not visible, excuse me? Huh. If I banish him, I gain money. I don't trust him. Get out. Took his armor, that's all I wanted. Now it's mine. I have a request for you. What now? The Jin Empire. They want a coalition again. I don't really want to do that. I'm going to tell you right now. I don't really want to join you. Even though you're incredibly powerful. But if they fight me, like, if they can't reach me, hey, good for me. Sima Chong is coming to fight me up north. I didn't realize how far up north he was. If I could get a peace treaty with him, that would be ideal. But I can't really fight that. I have 960. That's just a futile effort. So they took Han Jong from me. That pushed me down a bit. What a bummer. Where did you even come from? Was that like a... I have no idea where that guy even came from. Alright, so this is going to be a very... Uh, awful war for me. I'm going to have to try to move some people up north again. Or I just leave it alone and I have to reverse course and go fight Sima Chong. Which might be the case now. I might have to just rush up. Because I just I just conquered that stuff. If Wang Shen wants to be weak, that's fine. But I might have to just come up here for a little bit. Your arrival is welcome, my lord. Okay. Let me go look at my court again. Just checking for like really good gear. If it's out there. Seven years old, it's Simapu. Okay. Let me just try to get some money. I make see I make a decent amount in Bashi, so I'm trying to make sure that I maintain that even though I can't afford two armies fully yet if I come over here I lose a lot of food I gain more food and more noble support mind alignment curious okay let's go anyway I'll probably recruit some more units because his army is pretty damn big he's gonna be like our first real challenge it seems like just due to his size uh, I don't know where he's going to move to. He's going to hit one of my towns again. So we're going to lose like two of them probably. If not. Oh, look at who came back. He broke the... Okay. Noble support goes down. Conscription. Replenishment for local armies. We'll do that. Lose a little bit of that. I mean, that was such a little paltry sum. Completely fine. Let's go up here and beat the shit out of him though. I'm pretty annoyed because I had to... I hate having to reverse course. It makes me inherently angry so we're going up there to kick some face in grab all his units we're just gonna have some bodies on the field Absolutely not. we could finally see him I can hopefully can I mm, what what if I march I can make it to the other location good I can't afford anyone else right now we could just get a piece to do with homeboy down here Oh, it is you. I could probably do that. This we'll go kill him awesome. later, but I, I managed to eck out a peace treaty with him for right now, just so I can go focus up here. Yeah, I mean, these are flowing times. You kind of have to roll with it. So now I'm having to roll with it up here. Because this guy, we, ha we haven't had like a huge battle yet. Not, not like huge stuff. See my yacht. Okay, you're fighting them. Are you serious about that? So now Sima Wei is fighting me. All that work I, I did is just kind of...
gone. So it looks like my war is going to be up north now. Oh, you fickle lot. That's fine. I'm going to go kill all of them. They're costing me money. They want my trade agreement costing me even more money than before. Okay, let's try to figure out what we can do. I'm going to raise up taxes. Just to kind of keep me float for right now. Yeah, I'm very well aware of my low funds. It's not ideal. Never was ideal. We'll get rid of um, this unit real quick. And that one. Okay, let's see here. I need more income, so we're going to grab that. I'm going to go to Hanjong, beat them. I'm just going to start killing everyone up here. It's time. I've already defeated a lot of people, so if I could just go take Han Jung, that would be ideal. Oh, wow. Everyone's just joining this war to fight me now. All right. They had to waste my time for making me go down there. Oh, wow. So it would still be shorter for me to take this way. Okay, well, that's what we're doing. Evidently, going west would be way too long. Let me trip. It does make sense why the other factions would come after me, though, just because I'm the one who took their lands. They're probably ticked off at me, and I need everything if I want to maintain some power, some semblance of power. Okay, I could actually get rid of you for now and just recall you. That way I have some money coming in, which is not a lot, but we're still trying to muster up. Trait gained brilliant. See my ying? Oh my god, look at that. They lose ammo. Holy crap, I gain more ammo. That's awesome. He's getting a lot of positive traits. Uh, that's going to really weaken their ranged units for a prolonged conflict. I'll always have more. Enemy. Oh, you bastard. Whatever. Logic is the true path to peace. You're lucky that I'm now having a fight see my way. Now I kind of want to be friendly with the freaking Jin. Loyalty, Luigi. Okay, he's more loyal for quite a few turns. Let me go look at the Jin Empire. Who's now my really only means of having a friendly Welcome. fellow. They want a ranger's outfit. Trade agreement. They give a lot of money for it. I'll take it because I need some manner of trade agreement to make more money. So I've got to do it right now. Welcome. Come in. Okay, let's see. I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to pay you for that either, though. At the, at the very least, now we have a little bit more money. And now we're going to move about... Let's see, we're, my boundary is right over here. I need to try to do this quickly before Sima Wei causes issues. So we have Homeboy over here who's got a lot of archers. He's got a powerful faction leader. Oh, yeah. He's got some good stuff over there. And she's coming down to go take that town. Because she is a coward. I say. Dare I say a thigh. All right. So we're not going to upgrade that yet. Voodoo. I can't really improve Voodoo yet. Well, I mean, I can, but... Okay, if I upgrade that, it's two turns. Let's just do that right away. I'm going to go to Hanjong and try to win. We patiently await your answer. I need some help down here, man. They're stronger. They're stronger than any other faction still. We'll do it. If you want to help me, we'll do it. Okay. So, I'm going to fight it. We can, like, go through it fairly fast but I need to be able to at least weaken them because we're here um I got to make sure that they're just pretty diminished it's a slightly easier location to defend from but you could see where you could quickly be drawn into a war I was really trying to put it off for a long time to go conquer down south that was my goal but it looks like I won't be able to do that it looks like politically I'm gonna have to start moving up north so we had one plan but to change you know what happens to plans when they meet contact with your with your enemy. It just it just does not work out, right? So we won't be able to do that. I'm just gonna try to defend back here. And come to me, go through all the towers, get shot and crap. Just get shot. I'll probably need to defend as we move up, of course, but so none of you need to be there. Let's go into guard mode. I'm going to build some barricades. We're gonna build them where? Here and here. Let's now begin. So now they're on their way. 
Usi, DLC, Rishi. Now they're being hit by my towers, which will get some kills. It will at least, you know, get a few of them. They're going to easily take it. There's, I mean, towers are much weaker than they used to be. They used to be like machine guns. So clearly since I last played, they kind of got tweaked a little bit, which is a good thing, I'm sure. So they're all moving in now. All these units. Forcing their way inside of my land. Very rude, very crude. No, that's how it's meant to be. We're meant to have frustration in the very beginning. It's just, it's a factor that we all have to contend with, really. Well, they're using, okay, so they're going to use flaming arrows to try to stop me. Excuse me, why aren't you shooting them? There we go. Yeah, this is what you should be doing. This is like your one time to shine, baby. Yeah, go kill the sleeper militia as well. My poor G militia is like, G, please don't. Don't make us do it. I mean, just look at what these guys try to cross the bridge now. That's a a bad way to go someone's got to do it though the battle's gonna be won and they know it it's just how many are gonna die for this freaking town so in the future if there's a minor power i won't go towards them anymore the better goal would probably be for me let's go try to bother her would be for me to get some manner of peace treaty try to work that out that would be the better goal now I've learned that lesson. I'm so used to being such a big juggernaut in my other three kingdom campaigns. I did one for Luvu and I did one for Tatsao and uh, <laughs> indeed a juggernaut. Go after their commander. She's really pushing on me. Go shoot more of them. It's just a minor, minor fight. We just kind of have to endure this situation right now. Hit what we can. Kill who we can. We kill some of their own archers. They have plenty more that can kill me, but we'll try to kill more of theirs too. We've been able to at least weaken a lot of them, so they won't be able to easily come back to bother us. At least, for, you know, after this loss here, we'll be able to do some damage. We're running low on arrows. Got some archers back over here. They still have a lot of soldiers. G I, I could go hit the G militia instead. That would be the easier target of the two. And we can try to hit her. She's doing a lot to stop us. Oh, she's killed 68. So I guess maybe commanders are also better in melee combat than they used to be. Because they used to be pretty crap, honestly. You have a family member here, huh? I don't know who it is. But yeah, this was just meant to be a quick fight for us. Just to see how many we were able to kill. We've killed 95, so not like a ton. But it's certainly more than... You know, if we had just auto-resolved it. We're about to chain break. You know, that's going to happen. Let's go in and fight. Get even a kill or two more. They're going to try chain break. They're at 107 still. Well, there we go. We, we got one. We got one. Our warriors run. Craven Battle's rocks. over now. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that was a close defeat or not, but we at least took out a decent number of them with my archers not with my towers towers are no longer nearly as effective which is actually good for me whenever i go take Hanjong. so i'll go take Hanjong. i don't really have enough money to afford more than one army i could bring up a defensive force i need to try to get some better defenses though of course but yeah see like now she's taking wudu but at a cost a question of rank the Ministry of Education has submitted their final review. Oh, right, right, that one. Interfeed. He would be angry at me, but I gained some spirit alignment. I gained money. I gained corruption, too. I don't want to gain corruption, so he's going to... Or she's going to have to deal with it. Su Ting. Anyone talented here? Not really that talented. Yeah. Very limited cast. Okay. So we are here. What if I were to move here and 
Oh, it won't let me ambush. Crap. Okay. He can actually hit you right now. He's not going to come out to fight me, is he? I don't think he will. He might. Who knows? Okay. Tool workshop. That would be more money. I've got to, like, keep building no matter what I do while I'm expanding or fighting. I want to try to ambush him. I wonder if he would move out. That would be good if I could just ambush him and completely obliterate his army. He's not moving out. Okay, so our one option essentially do that. Sima Jian joined their war. Okay. Interesting model, I think. Look at all these people dying. More technology completed. Luigi went up in rank. Let's just get rid of all these notifications real quick and go look at a new reform. It's going to take me time to actually get some more stuff. I'm going to go gain more military supplies. We'll come over here real quick. Go look at Luigi. I haven't really given you too much, have I, friend? Your satisfaction is fantastic. Holy crap. Death of a rival. Oh, he's like, yeah, kill that fool. Okay. Let's give you flaming shot. We'll have more supplies too. He's brilliant as, as I mean, I just have brilliant people here. We are incredibly strong. I come after him. What would the garrison be like? That's like my biggest question. It's not a big garrison. They have a finite amount. Oh, but they do have spear guards. So those are pretty good. And he's not rank four. He's a wanderer who just came out of the blue and punched me in the throat. I'm going to try for one turn to see if I can ambush him. If he just moves out, we're going to probably hit him. In some way. Oh, offer to call. Okay. Come in there, Vassal. That's really interesting. Not that I want to do that. Oh, we have contact with a lot more of the map now. Function. I'm going to just trade with you for right now because we need well. the money. Actually, the two of you. We'll just do that. We approve this. See, my loon wants to. Where the hell are you, dude? Holy crap, you can see so much more of the map. It's Sima Chi, Sima Yan, Sima Mo, Yue, Sima Song, just... <laughs> yeah, it's a, definitely a lot. I don't see Sima Lun. Off of a brief glance, I'm fighting four factions right now, so that's a lot, but... Now I'm making 1400 a turn. We can try to build up our base of operations. I would tell all of you because of our location, because we're kind of being pressed on by so many factions up north, that it'll be kind of a turtle beginning anyway. All right, I'm just going to go fight then. Friendship is forming. You two have a peace treaty. Oh, we've been discovered. We had a very low chance of being discovered. That's fascinating to me. Consider... He's got a considerable amount more than I do. He's not going to give up. What I find interesting is how he discovered me. Alright, we'll see how that plays out. But I have so much more money coming in now, so I, I can actually start advancing my buildings. That took a long time. Can't get the copper mine up. Still need more money, but we offer peace for now. Okay, Sima Wei won't fight me if I pay him for ten turns. Make a payment. Oh, he wants my tool maker. Dude, go screw yourself. What do you mean? You want all my crap? I want a peace treaty, but I'm not giving up my tool maker. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's exactly what I needed to. So, we fight a night battle. His morale goes down further. And we get to kick some face in. I don't really have a chance to capture them. Okay. So we can finally defeat his army, take his town, replenish up here. We're going to wage a war up here for quite some time now. That's my new plan. Um, now we have a trade agreement. So it's been an, an episode of just trying to figure out where we're, we're going to be for the next few episodes. And I think this is probably, probably going to be it. This is where the major players are and... All the coalitions are at. They're kind of isolating me. So, I've got to do my thing to defeat them. Now, if they have one way to go to get out, 
and I have a lot of ranged units, what do I want to do? Well, clearly I want to shoot them. That to me is a good idea. That to me is going to really mess them up. By the time they even get down here, they're going to be shot the hell up. So let's go have a look at what we can do about that. See how we're going to be able to eliminate them. I mean, also keep in mind, a lot of their melees up here, I'll be able to get my mounted units to go hit them as well. And that's awesome. Now we'll keep it to straight up, just normal arrows right now. We're going to shoot everyone. Okay, I've got two more to go. I will use these archer militia back here, though, with their flaming shot. That'll do it. I mean, look at what we have now. We've got all these archers. We've got all these swordsmen. You can help me hold up here. Let you do some flaming damage. You'll be over here. Horsemen, I want essentially all of you to be over here, actually, instead. We're going to come out later. And I want the three of you to be here watching the fireworks. And that's honestly just what I want to have happen for now. So let's go do that and just beat the living crap out of them. Archers, hit now. Rolling guard mode, hit now. So now we have all these attacks in one location, one general location. You can see it where he's got a peasant band. They have a charge resistance up. That's cute and all, but now time for all three of us to go after Sima Chong. And already, peasant band gone. Let's go after the next group, the spear guard, which is a medium infantry group. And we're all going to go after homeboy over here together. All, all three of us. We're just going to fight them together. So we have flaming arrows. We're already obliterating a lot of them. Look at that. They don't even know what to do. They are shocked by the sheer ferocity of our attack. Let's go hit some of their archers over here just to kind of keep them kind of nullified. I'm losing some units due to their range attacks. So let's come over here now. Bring up all of my horsemen. I'm sure, there's going to be some groups that take some extensive damage, but let's keep on going to see much Chong. I've already obliterated most of their... Yeah, yeah, look at that. They're losing a lot of their infantry. I'm just going to charge in now. Let's charge in right now. Only a few groups here taking extensive damage. Okay. Crossbows, if you want to try to hit... I mean, they're a little bit too bunched up. They're losing a lot to my trebuchet, which is finally beginning to skill up. I'm now going to bring in all these horsemen. They're going to come down right now. Is, is he trying to flee, like, outright? Like, is, is he just trying? I think he's trying to leave. I think he's trying to like, actually, like, get out of here. That's cute. Okay, so now let's go charge in here. Here? No, no, no. You're just going to charge in. Don't ride. And over here. So, after that, let's go hit these G militiamen. I'm going to get my attacks to go after this, the spear guard. We don't have our debuff yet. So after doing that, we can go flank what they have left. We've got all these ranged attacks. We can go flank them. We can do whatever we really want. I'm going to go chase off the spear guards real quick, actually, instead. So, all these horsemen. Let's get them to go after various targets. Just try to eliminate more of their numbers. Like, here's one group that's only wavering and not completely broken. We'll come over here after that group. It's 147 that we can kill. That's uh, not the crossbows we don't really need to worry about. So come over here instead. Go after that group. That's another archer militia group. You can go kill them. Some groups have taken more damage than others. Too much units over here. Oh, wait. Yeah, she's losing. She's out. Let's go charge in now what we have left again one group takes some ex some extensive damage whatever Luigi I know that you're fighting someone who's a little bit more damaging but let's see if we can do it we're gonna have to see my shin close relative huh tragic well we're gonna be killing a lot of close relatives so it's gonna be kind of a <laughs> confusing war I think for some people guys I need you to move don't stop moving Every day, every day, move, move, move. Okay, come over here, go shoot this group of spear guard. You'll damage them 
heavily. Come over here, kill that group. Let's go after this guy. Well, I guess you two will keep on coming over here. We wiped him out. Let's move back real quick. Go shoot this group of Saber Militia. I'm going to get group two to kind of move back. They took a lot of... Well, some groups took a lot of damage. Alright. Come over here and help out. Saber Militia, you too. He's winning the fight easily, so we kind of have to go. Oh, wow. Never mind. You won the fight. Okay, I should have had more faith. So we did it. So now the only goal is to try to limit their numbers further. Once you break them, you want to chase them down. Where do people lose a lot of their numbers in a battle? It's going to be during the route. The route is what you want to avoid the most. The route's where you lose it. And we've gotten a great deal of them. Like This is actually pretty nice. Chong Hunters over 200 kills. 295 for that group. 52. 343 for this group. Limited damage to my mounted units. We completely rolled right through them. So despite them having a champion or whatever else, we still won 410 for my trebuchet. My archers did a lot of that killing. The Saber Militia is not really my strong suit, but we won the battle. Those guys got what is called, and I believe it was quoted in the um, Art of War by Sun Tzu, they got fucked. So we won that battle. Completely wiped him out. We'll be able to take Hanjong now. It's going to be good. We lost over 500. They lost 2,600. One leader dead. I gained a lot of money. I'm going to go take replenishment. That way I can just roll on Hanjong. Because we have another army to fight nearby. So it's just going to be back-to-back -back fights. Okay, so my eye, you've invited some much into your coalition. So my eye's not fighting some away. Again, there's just going to be... Look at that. This dude just broke a treaty with me to fight me. So now I have another enemy, which we'll take care of when we get back. So my Ying is now rank five. These two are rivals. We're good. They should be. Maybe I'll look over here real quick at what I can potentially pick up. That would be, let's see, I don't want that right now. Real deployment. Higher chance of ambush. I mean, that's always a good one, right? Well, I want to get some more Chiang hunters too, but I'm going to go ahead and take that. That seems really apt and are just really appropriate for me to do. All right, so low casualties. Let's just take it. Cunning triumphs over brute force. These poor towns, man. They're just kind of getting fought over, over and over. I've got 4,700 in funds now, so I could actually afford a secondary army if I needed to do that. I'm going to go look at what I can kind of improve down here. In Chengdu, that's another 100 that I could raise up. Food capacity would go up. Bashi, let's see. So armor craftsman that would give me a much bigger garrison that i need so if we can get that oh sorry for a tool maker not a armor craftsman but if i can get that in three turns I get a bigger garrison which means we're stronger and better these two leveled up too okay shicho you don't really have a great choice over here oh ignore force penalties for your retinue that's really good chance of avoiding ambush goes up so that's actually fantastic let me go look over here that's plus two to authority Again, just nothing really for you. Very unfortunate. Wish I had more to offer you, but I do not. Okay. So when we're back, we have more of a war to fight. If you have any tips or advice for me or anything you want to see, let me know down below. I do read your comments. And over here, we're at Mine Alignment Studious. So we gain even more ammunition. So clearly, ranged attacks are my way to go. We're going to be using a lot of ranged attacks and ambushes. If you look at it, I'm in a perfect place to stage ambush after ambush. If I have time, I'll build to ambush whoever I want and destroy them absolutely. Okay, let's see here. Sima Chong clearly wants... Oh, he's over there. Oh, that's where you're at. You freaking moron. Jeez. What an idiot. If I can get rid of Sima Wei, I wouldn't care about fighting everyone else. This will be short. Who can I try to get off my back real quick? Just even temporarily, even if it's for like a few turns. Wait, who's the guy who just fought, who declared war on me? He's clearly, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. So I'm fighting quite a, yeah, yeah. You. Why? Idiot. I guess because he just declared war on me, we can't work that out on the same turn. Understandable, I suppose. You're pretty far from me, so I can just get rid of you now. Alright. 
We're not going to take that. They can't even do that. They're so poor and crappy. But yeah, so when we're back, we'll get that done. Leave a like down below. Look forward to more later. And as always, until then, thankfully, the Jin Empire loves me. They're all over. That won't be the case for all time. But for now, the only factions who hate me are up to the northeast. I'll try to keep my friendships down here and get Chong to leave me alone so we can focus in the Mountain Wars. I'll be fighting three factions. It should be fun.